Good morning. Welcome to today's video. So in light of recent um, news across the world, as I'm sure when you're seeing this video, hopefully we've kind of flattened the curve there a little bit and we're not in such a state of panic and quarantine. I know that in my last couple of videos, I didn't address the corona and that is because I filmed those videos pre everything that happened as I do. So that's why I'm saying this video will probably be later on down the line. But nonetheless, I know a lot of us are doing home workouts now. Austin unfortunately had to shut his gym down. Um, so we're very thankful though, obviously, because we have our basement gym. So I can still do pretty much almost everything that I would be doing in the gym, except for obviously, you know, like we just don't have a rower or like a pull-up bar because the ceiling is a lot shorter down there. So since it's been a hot minute on my channel, since I've done a workout with me style of video and doing at home workouts is also something that has been re uh oh <laughs> has been requested on my channel for quite some time i figured it was the perfect time to do it so for today's video i'm going to be taking you downstairs doing a leg workout now i will say before i get into the actual workout a lot of these things you can do with body weight movements or even if you have like a chair or a table or something i'll put some little modifications on the screen for you if you don't have weights i am just excited to switch it up on the channel today um it's a very very gloomy day here and it's very quiet so you ready freddy i'm ready freddy okay welcome to the vlog we're going downstairs. up my post-workout shake today and I know usually I do vanilla but I, I got some Reese's Pieces they were like on sale and so I really want to do a chocolate peanut butter shake today and then throw in Reese's Pieces to blend together I just think that would be so good I'm almost out of this um the driven 
chocolate peanut butter. This one is so stinking good, but I just really prefer it because it's not overly sweet. And I think really that's one of the main reasons I love them is because it's not like, I don't know, I've tried, Austin really likes Ghost, and I think Ghost is so gross. It leaves the gnarliest aftertaste, and it's just like so overly sweet. So, I don't know. If I'm going to add something sweet, I'm going to add like, you know, Reese's Pieces or cookies. <laughs> so, I'm going to whip this up. It's super easy. So, put in um, just about like a cup of ice. I'm going to do half a banana though today. Same old almond milk. I really like the almond cashew blend. Big old scoop of that. Teaspoon of this honey. It's just like Jif Natural with honey in it it's super good a lot just like half a tablespoon maybe if you put too much it can get too sticky in there and i don't like that throwing in some <laughs> reese's for funsies and bam post-workout shake Why is that you like it? Oh, why do you like it? <laughs> yeah, whatever. It's nice. Little memory foam. <laughs> then you can see out the window, huh, Tux? You like that? Oh yeah, that's nice. I got a lull mattress for the guest room in here, and we've been wanting to upgrade this mattress in here for a while, but you know, we just don't really have many guests that stay over, like maybe Morgan occasionally, but not a ton. But now, like since the wedding is this year and everything, I'm sure like my mom and my aunts are gonna probably come and stay, especially for the bridal shower. So I wanted to upgrade this mattress in the guest room for quite some time. And so I decided to go with the lull mattress. There's so many different ones out there, you know, and I just wasn't sure, but this one was definitely, priced appropriately I feel now we have a queen bed in here and like but I prefer the mattress to be not super firm but also not really squishy to where like you sink down too far um and I think this one does a nice job of that and it's also really cooling which I like if you're looking to upgrade your mattress I would highly recommend this your sleep is seriously so important when it comes to literally your mental health, your physical health. And even like when I get people who are trying to lose weight or build muscle or whatever, if their sleep is on point, I will have them focus on their sleep instead of like even going into a deficit. Like you need to recover enough when it comes to your body composition and more importantly, your mental health. And that's what I've noticed. Like if I don't get a good night's sleep and don't have a proper mattress, I swear to you for like three days, I'm messed up. Maybe I'm just an old grandma, but <laughs> I don't know. So I just, it's such a gloomy day out today. And I was like, I'm gonna test out the little mattress in our guest room and just give a nice little snooze. So, <laughs> oh, I know, oh, I know. Mm-hmm. I take a little nappy right here. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. perfect. Take a little snoozle, okay? Mm -hmm. So it has been a couple of hours. I am doing the later check-ins that I had and eating this pork black bean. Well, it's kind of, a, whoa, let's focus on this. There we go. I'm eating the most delicious, colorful, random bowl that I've been throwing together lately and I've been loving it. I've been super into pulled pork lately. And then the colorful mix is actually just rice, Yukon potatoes diced really thin, like little shreds, I guess you could say, and carrots, and then roasted green beans on the side. The easiest way to make your pulled pork is just doing it in the crock pot. I usually do it with like some water seasonings. I've done barbecue pulled pork too, which is really good. And then I just let it, you know, sit in the crock pot for four or five hours, whatever my crock pot says on low. And then I take two forks and just shred it apart. It's so fire. I do have to clean my house. And I know that a lot of people have wanted me to do like a clean with me video. <laughs> but I don't know if that should be like its own video, like a dedicated video. I don't know. Or if I could just include it like a time lapse. Because I, I like to watch, watch that. I like to watch time lapse videos of people cleaning. I know that's so weird, but I love it. Maybe... I'll include a little bit of it in this video in the way that I would think that you guys would like it and then you have to tell me if you think it's good or not. And if you think it sucks, then just, you know, just tell me the truth. It's okay, you can be honest. What in the world?
Am I right? Or am I right? You wanna eat your dinner? <laughs> oh, great. Okay, go sit in your spot. Good girl. Good girl. You're such a nice girl. Okay, so my plan for dinner tonight, I can find my chicken thighs in the midst of the stuffed fridge. I'm going to make some chicken thigh tacos. I just use these little mission tortillas and I'll put like some guacamole, some cheese. And then I think Austin and I are gonna play some Mario Kart perhaps, right? Sure, sweet. <laughs> All right, that is the end of today's Follow Me Around vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you're staying safe and healthy. And I will see you guys in my next video.